Hey guys, it's Geeks Corner here. It's been a while since we've uh, done a live periscope and what we do plan on doing is getting this video onto YouTube and a channel later on as well. So what we are looking at at the moment is uh, Apple accessories versus third party accessories. Now this is the third party accessory I'm looking at today is the power bank. I've been using this one since uh, Christmas. This is actually a Christmas gift, and it's roughly about ten pounds on eBay. So uh, quite cheap. Don't expect, or didn't expect it to last too long, if I'm honest. But it's been six months and it's still going well. Obviously, you got your wear and tear signs, uh, but that's fine itself. It's got like a rubbery feel. And in the case there, uh, this one is for the success. So you got your camera slot cut out there for your flash and your camera as well. And here then you've got your power button here. And you cut out then for your volume controls here. Now, this also came with a stand, which wasn't um, a must have, but the fact that it's got it is actually handy, especially if you want to watch videos on your device. Now, this is good. The downside I found to this device is that uh, to charge it, you do plug in your normal Apple charger here. Uh, sometimes if the device is in, it will charge this, sometimes it charges the device, and sometimes it will flip between the two, and it doesn't actually charge anything. Uh, and it's just got the annoying charging sound constantly going. You've got your headphone jack. So the only downside, like I say, to this device that I found is that to charge it, you've got to take your phone out and then charge it separate to your phone. Uh, I've been doing that for six months. It is a bit of a pain, but it does work. This comes off and slides your phone in completely off. And then you just connect it back up and on there. You're in control of the power at all time because you can wait till your phone starts to run down. And then you press this little button here. And it lights up. And that's when it starts to charge the device. And then you can knock it off as well. So you're always in control of when you're using the power from this. So you can, you know that if your phone is on 20% uh, towards the end of the day and you haven't switched this on, and you've still got this to charge it. I do 12 and a half hour shifts and I can actually get through a full shift and have a good two hours, maybe three, using this device as well. iPhones are great, but the battery life is shocking. Now, uh, this is actually quite rugged as well, as you can hear, even though it's got the feel on there, like the rubbery feel, it is quite hard. Only once I've ever dropped my phone on, it was on concrete, thankfully it had this on, and that's where these scuffs basically came from. Uh, this actually backpack came off, wires hanging out everywhere. Simply push them back in, clip this on, work it right as rain, no problem. So I can't actually fault this at all, but I have been wanting the new Apple charging kit. Uh, two reasons. One is you can leave it on your device and charge it without an issue. You don't have to take it off to charge it and your phone at the same time. And also, because it's, it is Apple's accessory, you can then also have a look on the control center at the power percentage for both of them, in case you always know what you've got left. Now these are around £89, which is a lot. However, they have started coming down on price on eBay. Now, I've actually ordered this on Saturday. It wasn't due to come until tomorrow, but it's actually coming today. So I'm quite excited about that. I haven't actually opened it yet, just literally taking it out of the packaging. So we're gonna have a look at it today and just compare it to a third party and what you get basically for your money. Now this one was, I think it's about 55, including free postage. So that itself isn't bad at all. It is a genuine Apple one, as we can see. Just going to take this bit of plastic off so it is still nice to see it as well. Now, like I say, Apple products are great price wise for accessories, not the best. Just going to put the phone down a second. Okay. So, sliding out to the box here. So basically you've got an actual case. 
Uh, so, for those who haven't used this, it's actually got quite a solid feel. Now, I'm not a fan of the design, never have been. However, especially with the battery pack here, to me, it looks like an iPhone has swallowed an iPod. But hey, that's the design they've got, and that's the design they've gone with. So basically, as you can see from here, top part peels over for you to slide it in. And then obviously you've got to check it on charge. So we're not going to go through all that today, just want to have a quick look at what you get basically. Now, first impressions of this, check out the way, is it is more solid than I was expecting. I was expecting more of a plasticky feel. You've got cover for your buttons on this one, whereas on the third party obviously you just had a cut out. So you got your volume mute button there, the actual volume buttons as well, or your ring and mute I should say, whereas this has just got a complete cut out to get the buttons. The cut out for the camera is pretty much the same, obviously this one's just got a slightly different shape there, no big deal. And again, you got a cut out for the button on a third party on the Apple, it's an actual cover as well. So this is basically it for the two devices uh, like I say overall seems a pretty good thing now I'm going to be testing it for a day or two and then I'm going to give my uh, impression on my on my blog uh, after running the two of them to see which one I actually prefer like I say this one is £10 on eBay and this one is uh, 55 on eBay so it is cheaper than Apple Direct so that's it for our initial unboxing and comparing uh, this will be on our YouTube. Uh, if you're on Twitter, go to Geek Corner, sorry, yes, Geek Corner underscore UK. Follow us on there, and we'll let you know then once we've actually got our written uh, cover on this as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.